More than 750,000 Americans suffer from Crohn's disease, a painful chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Prescription medications may give some patients relief, but so far, there's no cure. Researchers now say they have identified the bacteria that can cause inflammation, helping them close in on a cure. 20-year-old Eric Pareto was a college freshman when he developed what he thought was a stomach bug. It feels like uh, a, a stabbing pain, kind of, uh, all, kind of all around. Doctors diagnosed Aaron with Crohn's disease, a serious inflammation of the small bowel and colon. Saleh Nasser is a microbiologist specializing in Crohn's research. Nasser says patients with severe cases can be virtually housebound. They have a chair next to the bathroom door where they have to go to the bathroom 15 to 20 times a day. Nasser has identified bacteria called MAP for short that could hold the key. This bacteria is known for a long time now to be responsible for the same symptoms we see in a Crohn's disease but in cows. As part of a clinical trial, Nasser's lab is testing blood and tissue samples from Crohn's patients for the presence of MAP. Patients are being given what Nasser calls anti-MAP therapy. For one year, they take three antibiotics known to kill the MAP bacteria in the lab. And if the bacteria is gone, then the symptoms should be gone. Eric Prado is thankful his symptoms are mild and mostly controlled with medication. You don't know the future. Sometimes you just have to be positive and and keep doing uh, what you do. Jessica Ralston, News Channel 5, HD. 65 clinical sites in three counties are participating in the MAP trial of the antibiotic therapy. Nasser says it's his goal to learn more about the bacteria and why some people are more at risk for Crohn's than others. 